This is the TRL Footy Show brought to you by Power FM, Hutchison Builders and Gundawindi Rugby League Football Club live and free from the Queensland Hotel Gundawindi on Power TV Australia. And now here's your host from the Obi and Cookie Call on Power FM, Andrew O'Brien, a.k.a. Obi. Hello and welcome to the Toowoomba Rugby League uh, Footy Show on a special day here at the Queenslander Hotel. Can everyone hear me? Oh, that's pretty slow. Can everyone hear me? Well, we're here at the Queensland Hotel and every, all roads lead to the Gundawindi Boars on a very, very important weekend. And a couple of scallywags either side of me. Reed, you made all the trip out to the uh, Gundawindi. Yeah, looking forward to it tonight. Get out to uh, one of the local pubs and great to see how good the Boars are going this year. And a good mate of mine and the president of the Gundawindi Boars here, Tony Carter. How you going, mate? Good. Eh? How you going, mate? Yeah, good. Really good. Well, let's get stuck in. We'll talk everything about uh, Gundawindi in a moment. Mustangs, they went up to Townsville Blackhawks and they got done 42 points to six on the weekend. Reeds? Yeah, look, that was a bit of a tough road trip for the boys. They travelled up there. We beat them uh, when they came down to Toowoomba. We were able to put the nice cold wet weather on for them and uh, we managed to get away with a great win against uh, the side that's running second in the competition but uh, we went up to Townsville last weekend and they uh, returned the favour but in spades they give us a, a bit of a hide in there but the boys still played right till the end and we put the last points on the board of the match so they and, went pretty good. And you played topside Burley this week, the last home game for the, uh, the Mustangs. I think, uh, yeah, probably you're going to be underdogs there, but you'll probably uh, uh, perform quite well. Yeah, look, they're going really good, actually, um, Burley. They've only lost the one game this season. They're sitting there out on top by themselves. Uh, former front rower, Lukey Maiden, who played for us last year, he's been given a contract with the Titans, and we'll be fronting up against him on the weekend. So I'm sure the boys will want to give him a little bit of a welcome back to Toowoomba. But he's going particularly well for him. So Saturday afternoon out at Gold Park, a uh, great opportunity for those in Toowoomba to come and have a look at the Mustangs in their last home game. We've spoken before about the Mustangs uh, uh program has been very good and I know Tony that you've got uh, uh, Tom Davis playing at the moment he was Mustangs what other players have come through Mustangs from out here yeah young uh, Mickey Hazard too the curly head boy oh Beacon. Fuzzy Wuzzy where's Fuzzy not here not here no. hang on stand up Fuzzy okay away we go one here. of your current A graders uh, Jolly go. Curry he played a couple of seasons Joel Curry yeah, that's right the, uh, yep. Mustangs uh, is a very good footballer for us but your lad he played at Redcliffe didn't he Will yeah Will had a couple of years there so. yeah, he so played in that comp he went really well Will so everything uh, going to Windy, uh, big game on the weekend, uh, uh, Tony. You've got Men of League uh, uh, Day as well, so and the last home game, and everything's set up for going to Windy. You've got a great uh, weekend coming up. Uh, uh, they're playing okay, but got to play Waddles, haven't you? Yeah, tough game for us at home, and um, yeah, you never know what happens on the day. We've got a big day with juniors right through from under sevens right through, start at nine o'clock. So. Uh, I think uh, a good crowd, they'll get support the boys and I think we'll do quite well. Yeah, look, uh, I've been bragging a lot about this uh, Gundawindi model here, uh, Reeds, uh, and I think, uh, with all due respect, uh, Tony, leave you out of it, but the, the crowds uh, certainly have been consistent and been the biggest crowds uh, in Twimble Rugby League for a long, long time, haven't they? Yeah, look, it's a tough road trip for anybody uh, from any club that's coming out to uh, Gundawindi. You get out here and she's, uh, she's always a, a good reception. The crowd lets you know who they're supporting on the, on the paddock, definitely in the home side. They uh, try to influence the referees. Not saying they would ever be influenced, but, no, that's, but that's, right. that's great. That's what you want. When you go out and play uh, a team that's out further out in the country, you want to go out there and you want to know. And next year you're thinking, oh, we don't want to go back there, but you yeah. know you're going to be fronting up. But what I'm saying is that the crowds and the, the way they've got the culture out of the club here, it's great. It's 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 just fantastic. And second and none, you've worked very hard, haven't you, Tony? Yeah, it's been a long seven years I've been involved here, and uh, I've enjoyed it. it. It's it's good, good committee that helps. Yep. Uh, plenty of helpers, um, and that makes our job a bit easier. So there's one thing, uh, Tony, attracting players uh, to the Boers, That's growing, but uh, winning culture helps, isn't it? It does. That's what brings the crowds, of course. I think uh, a lot of credit goes to all the coaches here. Um, Mark's done a wonderful job with the club and uh, he's been there, done it. So um, there's no questions. He's, um, he's improved with all four sides of making the uh, finals and that's been a long time coming. And uh, you've got, uh, I think, reserve grader in 
under 18s uh, line ball, are they? Are uh, they all in? They're yep. all in. Uh, and second division. They're second in. division. They're in. Well, they're the Mats and Rasmussen uh, finalists yes. as well. Yeah. They've got to win, or else they won't be top three. Is that no, right? No, that's right. They've got to win. They've got a big game against Stanthorpe, so uh, they look good. They train well tonight. That's good. But uh, who would think? You know, like uh, what have you been going two or three years? Who would think three years ago you'd be in this position where uh, the boys are all Tony did all making all making a force in the in yeah, the finals. Yeah, no, um, you know, I'll be all happy to pull up socks next weekend. The boys have done credit to themselves. They've worked very hard this year, and uh, uh, the coaches have done that. I I'm pleased where we've gone. Uh, we're rebuilding, and it's, it takes a few years. What I can gather is the real community out here. I see that the Ra Ra boys come and support you, and vice versa. I see that the rugby union boys are hot favourites for the grand final. Aussie Rules won the grand final last year as well, so um, it's a really good camaraderie here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, in the, the town. But the town of only six thousand, we're doing pretty well to field four clubs in a in a in a Toowoomba competition. We're, yep. It's, it's pretty strong, you know, they love yep. their sport um, and they back each other and, and that's what we've got to do in the country town. Yeah, well we talk, uh, we'll talk to Kenny uh, Milgate in the Bottle Mart Blast from the past in the next segment and in 2013 you dropped out into I think the Border League at the time and uh, I think there's a real wake up call for uh, Gunda Windy and you've just gone to probably I believe one of the most leading cultural clubs in the Toowoomba Rugby League now. Yeah, I think it's worked hard. Uh, the committee we have is the um, majority of the boys um, or, or, and ladies do have their own business. That works. Yep. Uh, and, that's, and that's how we, off the field, you've got to run it like a business. On the field, that's how it's been working and it's, uh, it's been a success. Yeah, and the one team towns, uh, Reeds, are really the flavour, and Gunnar Windy have done it well, haven't they? Yeah, they've done it well, but when you drive into the town this afternoon, the town's vibrant, there's people around, there's businesses happening, so uh, with with that, there's jobs creation, so that, that enables you to attract players to be able to come to the town, to get them, a, get them a job, get them a home, and when they feel a vibrant community, they love staying, they want to stay. And uh, who's your major sponsors, uh, Tony? At the Queensland Hotel, of course, um, Peter and Karen look after us. For years they've been fantastic. Uh, Sean Anderson at Anderson Truck and Tractor Repair on yep. the A grade with uh, Clive Quartermain with Mackenzie's Home Hardware. Right. Very strong. Namoy Cotton is another big strong one. Uh, Cole Bulmer Earth Moving and Katie, of course, still involved with it. Um, they're our strongest ones, but we've got quite a few. Very, very lucky to have that many. Yeah, yeah so congratulations on what you're doing here, Tony. It's been an absolute marvel, hasn't it, Reed? Yeah, I enjoy watching the Gundy boys play, particularly their second division in that Madsen Rasmussen game. They struck a really hot Newtown side who's going particularly well, but they're another club that's trying to build to get back through into the comp. So they've got all their strength in one team, but for the Gundy boys to be able to do field A grade, Reggie's. 18s and the second division and have them all firing at the same year that's a fantastic credit yeah good on you mate oh thank you cheers for that that's good well look uh thanks so much for joining us we've got a big uh, show on uh cultivating with uh the big quiz with the offendale brothers and also where's this brad lovell where's he ben lovell ben lovell where's ben right there oh is front. he Oh, that's good. Have we got some dirt on you, Ben, I can tell you. But look, uh, at, let's have a break and uh, let's look at an interview with the Lee Group Electrical Player of the match from the Warwick Gatton uh, game, Craig Don. This is the Toowoomba Rugby League footy show. The Lee Group Electrical Man of the Match here for the Hutchies match of the round, match of the round is Craig Don from uh, uh, Warwick. You know, you've been the bridesmaid a bit uh, with the two points and uh, getting a one point for Warwick. It's nice to actually uh, uh, get the big um, prize at the end this year. <laughs> the big fifty dollars. Ah, uh, yeah, big fifty dollars. But you play well, mate. You must be happy with your form this year. No, the form's going good. Staying fit, training four nights a week. So, yeah, look, it's a, it was a. Uh, 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 Topsy turvy game. Did you feel that you always had Gatton's measure through the game? Nah, they always keep coming strong. Gatton, they're big boys up through the middle, and they keep coming up through the middle. So, yeah, those uh, sort of fifty-fifty calls. And I thought Tandy's try at half time was really the clincher there. Uh, it really got your momentum, and you came out well after the break, didn't you? Oh, we came out a little bit sleepy, but we got there. Cody Tandy's quick. He got there. I was still down there at the fire, still breathing. <laughs> <laughs> and who is, who is the best for you? Uh, Manny Marshall was good. Watson was good. Who else played well, do you reckon, for the Cowboys today? Uh, Benny Sullivan. He's yeah. always there. I always try and get an offload to of him. He's always quick in behind the marker and key cup player, I suppose. He knows what the game's like and he can run. It's a bit different game to last uh, last week. It was brutal at times, but then free-flowing at the end. Did you find that? Yeah, no, it was brutal. Big boys up the middle, they always get you. And then 
sort of we got mate wide a little bit and then they chucked the ball around too so how's the body mate the slate in the season for craig Dong? body's good welcome to finals all right mate you did very very well today mate all the best and we'll see you uh, in the finals you will thank you After the break, the bottle might blast from the past. This is the TRL Footy Show, brought to you by Power FM, Hutchie's Builders and the Gundawindi Boars Rugby League Football Club. Live and free from the Queensland Hotel Gundawindi on Power TV Australia. Hutchie's lives here. We're locals, just like you. To us, construction is really about people, not just bricks and concrete. It's people who bring our structures to life and build communities. We stick by the people who make communities. From Toowoomba Rugby League to RACQ Lifelight Rescue Service, Milne Bay Military Challenge and the Toowoomba Tennis International, Hutchies is proud to back the people who support the region. Is your computer driving you crazy? Is it slow or doing things you didn't expect? Well, having a computer crash or pick up a virus can be a complete nightmare for a business, so having someone local you can trust to get you up and running again is critical. The dedicated team of experts at Computer Troubleshooters Toowoomba West will put your mind at ease from the moment you walk through the door and will get your problem solved in no time with a 100% guarantee on their work. Laptops, tablets, PCs, whatever you have, Roger and the team can fix it for you. So visit them today at 236 Bridge Street, Newtown. Can't get in to see them? No worries. Just call them on 46 42 1331 and they'll come to you. Toowoomba Troubleshooters, Toowoomba West, on the web at www.computertroubleshooters.com.au forward slash Toowoomba West. fmradio.com.au G'day, Kev Walters here, coach of the Mighty Maroons and brand ambassador for Toowoomba Kia. Did you know that every new Kia, including my Stinger, comes with a seven year unlimited kilometre warranty? Seven straight years. Ha, <laughs> that's equal to 21 Origin matches worth of warranty. But you don't just get the best warranty in the business, these guys are all about making winning deals for Queenslanders like you. So come down and see the team here at Toowoomba Kia, Toowoomba's new home of Australia's best seven year warranty. Queenslander! Not bad. Well, folks, 17th and 18th of August, you're going to find yourself right here at Leeburn for the 24th running of the annual Leeburn Sprint. It's being brought to you by Power TV. Well, this year, of course, with all of the action on track, we're bringing you a whole host of events right throughout the weekend. But keep in mind that we're bringing you some great drivers from yesteryear as well. Dick Johnson's back. Freddie Gibson's here for the first time. Colin Bond's coming for a look. And also KB Ken Bartlett, just to name a few. Now, if you're not here, you can watch this broadcast over the two days by the guys from Power TV. 
What an innovation, bringing you all of the sprints events right here in Leeburn, live via uh, network streaming. Cannot ask for anything more. What a great innovation. Two days of great racing action, beautiful weather as always. If you haven't got your camping organised, make sure you get that organised before you come out, or if you're just coming out for the day trip, keep in mind we've got some great um, show and shines on throughout the weekend as well, and what a weekend this is going to be. Hope you guys are all enjoying this, because I can tell you what, this is more of what's to come from the Leeburn Sprints right here on the 17th and 18th of August in downtown Leeburn. Thanks for joining us for the TRL Footy Show, live from the Queensland Hotel Gundawindi. Let's get back to Obi and the panel. Okay, well, welcome back to the Toowoomba uh, Rugby League Footy Show. A bit of deja vu there, and we are here at the Queensland Hotel. How's everyone going? Good? Yeah! Yeah, we're waiting to our last segment, because I reckon the, the screens were a bit, bit, bit louder, won't they, Reeds? A few beers in a mate, they'll... Uh Soon warm up, and we've got some really good questions for some of these boys here from the uh, the Gundawindi boys. So we'll have a bit of fun at their expense. Well, it's Bottle Mart blast from the past. We haven't had it for a few weeks, and look, local, uh, well, legend, I'll call him, uh, my old mate from Men of League days, Kenny Milgate. Everyone, put your hands together for Kenny. <laughs> See, you're a legend in your own lifetime, Kenny. I, I, I know. It. Yeah, so it's good, like, well, let's talk about it, mate. Let's talk about uh, Gunda Windy have a wonderful history. Uh, well, we believe they've started around 1912. They won the Toowoomba Rugby League Premiership in 2005. Their first after entering the competition in 1996. Such families as McGrady's, Frost, um, McIntosh, Offendales, and famous players who have played for Gunda Windy and their NRL players that I know is Luke Covell and now Ethan Lowe. Wasn't that fantastic for the uh, uh, Gunder Windy uh, club for Ethan to play down there in State of Origin, Kenny? Yeah, it might be. A lot, a lot of footballers um, from Gunder Windy, which is uh, made, made, made some excellent um, representative, representative fixes for us. Well, what I want to talk to you about is that they came back into the Toowoomba Rugby League in 1996. 2005 was the Premiership. Uh, Cyril Mabry, he uh, he coached uh, A grade, and you also Correct. won reserve grade that day, uh, didn't you? Yes, because you beat uh, uh, Brothers 48-0 on 2005. That's right. A that's great right. day for the Boers. Yeah, a good day for the Boers. And, um, and, uh, and, and we've, done, we've done nothing else but uh, go forward. And uh, by the looks of it this year, we're, we're going to um, um, go very close to win the Premiership too. Well, you won the reserve grade as well. Who was coaching reserve grade that year? Oh, so, so, so. Sonny Boy Peck, right? Yeah, is he, uh, where's Sonny? No, not here. Yep, good on you. He's gone, has he? He oh. must have knew that we're going to talk to him about it as well. But you yeah. had great players here. You had Kane, Spicer, uh, was it Ewan McGrady you had in there? Yeah. Young, uh, Macintoshes and Frosty. Yeah. Did you play? Where's Frosty? Did you play in, in, in 05? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that must make you 65. Is that right, Frosty? Yeah. Hey, and legend in your own lifetime, but what a great team you had there in 05. Yeah, it was a good side, yes. And not only in, uh, we had another player who's still around at the moment, Matty Galvin. You played in 05, didn't you, mate? Yeah. You played in 05? No, no, not 1955, mate. No, 2005, you idiot. Okay. And, and look, uh, Gunda Windy had been kind of a journeyman's club where they were in Dolby and they were in uh, Border League and Toowoomba Rugby League and uh, it was a big thing about juniors all the time, wasn't it Kenny? Yeah, it was. It was. When, we, when we were originally structured, first, when we first got involved with, with Dolby Rugby League and of course when they, they, they separated and become involved with Roma League, Roma League, we also had to find somewhere else to play, play our football. We approached um, Border League, which is incorporated, Inglewood, Texas, um, Stanthorpe, and those various clubs on the border. But unfortunately, of course, we have a, a very strong junior rugby league network here. There was, <laughs> they didn't have under 18 rugby league football side. Yep. So we had nowhere for our under, under 16 to go. That's right. So, so we, we, we played one year there and then we had to look somewhere else. 
I think we've got some photos uh, up here to show uh, Reed's. Uh, I think one of them was uh, Terry Koyaski was a coach at the time. Yeah, uh, Straub, uh, he coached Straub. Straub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, year well. was that, Kenny? What what era? Oh, geez, that was my year. Was it was an, Did you play under Straub? Did you? Yes, I did. Oh, you did. You, you got those photos there, Barry? Um, Haven't got those photos there, but you'll see them uh, in the show. Yeah, that'd be okay. And then uh, there's one of. Uh, uh, the trophy being held uh, up Adam, in 05. Adam, Who was that, no? Adam Wilson. Adam Wilson. Is Adam, oh, yes. is Adam here? Anyone know Adam? Yeah. Yeah. Brother, his brother over there. His brother Where's his brother? What's, what's your name, champ? Ben. Ben Wilson. Congratulations, mate. You get all the kudos there. Bit like Michael, off, bit like Michael Offendale getting all the kudos off Mark Offendale. Is that right? <laughs> well done. And I bet you if they win the premiership this year, it'll be Michael Offendale holding it up. And Mark, off you go. If he's got anything to say with that, don't you reckon, Kenny? That's exactly right. Yeah, but look, what a great area. Look, I want to go back and remember Les Cleal coming out here. I think what the, the whole rugby league fraternity in Australia knew that at the time, didn't they, Reeds? Yeah, they did. And it, like being the brother of Noel Cleal, but also a good footballer himself when he came out here and really sort of um, give him another reason for people to be looking at rugby league out here in the area when you've got someone like Les Cleal around. Same as having uh, Mark Offenauer back from playing for the United States back out here. Exactly right. Now, Kenny, I was going to say, though, that era and also what we spoke about with uh, uh, Karts at the, at the start, uh, rugby league in the bush, right? What's your opinion on that? Well, rugby league in bush in the bush is still is still very active. Um, but as long as you've got a lot of good support system, but, um, you've got to have committees, very strong committees, and very very a very strong um, supporting the town to support you. Unfortunately, we're pretty deadly. We're pretty deadly with our supporters. When you come out here, you do it. You do it tough. <laughs> and it's right what they say, Reads about it. it's a very, lot. Very vocal people. It's a long road trip out here to get a win, isn't it? Yeah, as, yeah, as we've seen, like Derby just uh, scraped over, as did Valleys. Yeah, but a lot of um, clubs over here, uh, it's a long road trip home. Longer when you lose. <laughs> yeah. You come out here and you get a curry from the. Uh, Supporters, and then you get beaten on the field. It's a long trip home. You've seen some really good players over the years, mate. I know you had uh, David Brown. David Brown, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, and he played for Australia as Correct. well. And you had Mabry, as we said, and yes, Terry Kwiatkowski. Who else uh, were out here? You had some internationals play. Oh, we were saying the other day. Just, just slipped my mind. It did. He said, um, "I forget his name, but it'll come back to me." But uh, it's what's, what attracts uh, those players to Gundawindi? Well, they're all country people. Yep. The people that we're involved: Dave Brown from King Arroyo originally. Yep. Cyril Maybe from Chichilla. That's right. Um, Leslie Cleal. That's right. The boys. Yep. They're all country people. Yeah. But they, know, they, know, they know what the country people need, and that's the thing. Big, big thing. If you can fit in the in the community, it fit in the community, and, um, and 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 help out, they naturally naturally take on board, and, and they're bloody and they look after. And you and I have a, a, a same passion as far as men of league, yeah. and it is very, very strong uh, out here. And we didn't have it 20 years ago, did we, uh, Kenny? No, no. And I congratulations to you, Kenny, because I reckon you've just about single-handedly really lifted the well-being, and it's really lifting on what what players and its families, all right, can have available to them. Well, once again, a, net, a network of committees has got to be very strong too and we have a very strong connection of men and league people out here and, uh, and uh, we're, we've really got our finger on the pulse just like the, the rugby league football club committee they've, they've got their finger on the pulse and, and it's showing yeah because you uh you do the bar as well here don't you yeah and it's a charity thing yep. we, we don't we don't do it for, for money we just go along and help, help, help the club and that's the thing everyone helps each other not in, for, not in for the money, but in to support, support the rugby league. And you and I will both agree, unfortunately, when the tragedies cases do come, right, yeah. the more the rugby league people know about it, and we've seen with the Foles family, and our sympathy goes out to the Foles family uh, from the Valleys Rugby League Club, And but the rugby league fraternity does lift and rally, don't they, They, they certainly do, yes. Um, they don't hesitate. To, uh, you know, we've, got, we've got our finger on the pulse here in the local community. Oh yes, it's very important that um, they know we're here and also they know um, 
Even someone help him. Well, uh, Kenny, <coughs> I've known for a number of years. He's probably the first person I knew at Gundawindi, Windy, and he's done a wonderful job uh, with the welfare here at Mena League. Everyone, put your hands together for Kenny. He's done a wonderful, great... And he is the glue. He is the glue that keeps the community together. But look, uh, and it's fantastic, as we're seeing here, but certainly with the Foles family uh, that's happened in the last tragedy, the last couple of days, Reeds. Yeah, and also all the other families that have been helped out. I know when Jimmy Stevenson, you know, one of the uh, NRL... Um, Development officers, you know, suddenly passed away. The support that his family received, and, and how much work, you know, people gave back to help him. Billy Pollard, who was, you know, an icon of our our game, particularly through Toowoomba. The Mental League does a fantastic job, but the Rugby League community, you know, they just rally and help their help their mates when they need it. Well, anything else you want to say, mate? Go let's the have balls. a beer, right? Eh? Go, Go the balls. Go the balls. Go the balls. And let's have a beer. No, no, you would have been a pretty personality player. Uh, not a pretty, but you would have been a personality player when you were playing. Yeah, I personally didn't like opposition. Oh, you didn't? <laughs> okay, didn't you have your fan club, mate, on the sideline? No, no, not really. You've been just nice and straight. But Life look, sort of anyway, gets excited. Really appreciate you helping out this week. It's been wonderful. Thanks so much for coming along. No right, again, put your hands together for Kenny. And... <laughs> Well, here we are at uh, the Queensland Hotel in between a break. Just sort of go round the, round the tables here. Let's have a look to this fella. Sh Shane, how are you, mate? Good, thanks. How are you, yourself? Yeah, good. You're on the committee? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Go hide, Freddy. And over here, Yuki, this big fella. What's your name? Freddy. Freddy who? Obdo. That's right. And you've just come back from the Darwin Cup, is that right? Yeah. That's good. Did you ever win? Oh, here and there. Lost a little bit, though. Is, is Carter as bad as we say he is? Yeah. Okay. Yep. And over here? Jamie. Jamie, what's your last name? Russ. Russ, that's right, mate. And, uh, hey, isn't it fantastic the uh, uh, the way the uh, club's going at the moment? That's going really well, yeah. Yeah, it's great really crowds, hey? Great crowds, great... Yeah, that's right. All right, enjoy the game. All right. As we go to the break, we'll look at the uh, summary of last round where Gundy had a great win over Brothers. We're going to uh, look at an interview with former NRL player Jamin Lowe, who put on the boots for the Newtown Blue Bags on the weekend. This is the Toowoomba Rugby League Footy Show. Anthony Moody here, and I'm joined by a very special guest, Jamin Lowe. Jamin, you flew all the way down from Townsville to play today. How was it out there? Yeah, it was, it was warmer than expected. Usually Toowoomba at this time of year is uh, quite cool, but... Um, suited me living in Townsville, so used to the warm weather, but that was good fun. So tell us a bit about yourself. You played for Newtown Juniors, yep? Yeah, played new, all my juniors with Newtown. Played a couple of um, senior games, under 17s, under 19s, that sort of stuff, and then uh, moved to Townsville. Never got to play a, a senior open age game with Newtown because I left when I was 17. So um, yeah, the plan was always to finish up new to, with Newtown, so uh, I can happily retire now, not have to play ever again. <laughs> So we were speaking earlier and you mentioned that you had a Newtown towel in your bag. Yeah. Um, he's actually won a premiership with the Melbourne Storm in 2012 and that was there on site at the time? Yeah, I took it with me um, probably the last four or five years of my NRL career. I always had my Newtown towel and, and my Newtown mouth guard, so a little, little part of my DNA, I suppose, footy DNA, always came with me wherever I went, so yeah, that was all there grand final day. And what, what role has Newtown played in your footy career? Yeah, it's been huge. Uh, everything, everything good in my life's directly come from obviously my parents, but <clears throat> also, you know, my footy especially. I had some great coaches coming through Newtown when I was younger and um, taught me a lot about the game and different different aspects of the game. So, um, yeah, it played a huge role. And then obviously getting the opportunity in the NRL came directly through playing for Newtown. So, um, huge huge part of my life the, this club. So it was great to be able to play one more game with them. And the boys today, they played pretty well, got the win there, 30-10. to 10. How, how was it? How did the boys get around you? Gundy scored all their tries when I was on, so I might have been, <laughs> I might have been the issue today. They, I think they were keen to get me off because yeah, every time I seemed to go on, Gundy seemed to get the upper hand, so <laughs> I don't think they want me back now, so that, that's good. <laughs> all right, thank you very much for your time, Jamin, and congrats on the win today. Yeah, thanks very thank much. you. <laughs> Coming up, Obi and the panel will review round 17 of the Toowoomba Rugby League. This is the TRL Footy Show brought to you by Power FM, Hutchies Builders and Gundawindi Rugby League Football Club. We're live and free from the Queensland Hotel at Gundawindi here on Power TV Australia.
Kevin on the radio. fmradio.com.au Is your computer driving you crazy? Is it slow or doing things you didn't expect? Well, having a computer crash or pick up a virus can be a complete nightmare for a business, so having someone local you can trust to get you up and running again is critical. The dedicated team of experts at Computer Troubleshooters Toowoomba West will put your mind at ease from the moment you walk through the door and will get your problem solved in no time with a 100% guarantee on their work. Laptops, tablets, PCs, whatever you have, Roger and the team can fix it for you. So visit them today at 236 Bridge Street, Newtown. Can't get in to see them? No worries. Just call them on 46 42 1331 and they'll come to you. Toowoomba Troubleshooters, Toowoomba West, on the web at www.computertroubleshooters.com.au forward slash Toowoomba West. Thanks for your company for the TRL Footy Show, live from the Queensland Hotel Gundawindi, and now it's back to Obi and the panel. And welcome back to the Toronto Rugby League Footy Show, sponsored by Hutchison Builders and Power FM Radio, and we're here at the Queensland Hotel. How many drinks has everyone had? Yeah. Not enough. <laughs> Not enough. So they're all going very well. Joining me is the uh, coach of the uh, Gundawindi Boars, Mark Offendahl. How are you, Mark? Yeah, good, thank you. That's good. We're going to talk everything about uh, Gundawindi. Uh, we're going to do the summary of the uh, last round and then the preview, so yep. we'll uh, do that in that order. But let's have a look at these other games, and we'd uh, love to hear your opinion on that. Waddles, uh, 18, defeated uh, Valleys, 14. Uh, and uh, did we see the prelude of the 2019 Grand Final? Well, I don't know. All I know is that we witnessed an excellent game on Saturday night. The Whiz Kids, uh, two tries to Denzel Burns and Jerome Burns were very, very good. Travis Burns was absolutely spectacular. It was 12-6 at half time before Ryan Duggan scored. Uh, to really put it uh, beyond uh, yeah, reach, it was about seven minutes to go. It was 18-10 and then Zach Miles scored a consolation try to make it 18-14 uh, and take the chocolates, uh, Reeds. Yeah, look, great game. The, these two sides just keep fronting up and keep putting two great games on every year, uh, whether it's the Madsen Rasmussen this year, the normal round games like last weekend, or what we'll see uh, witness to in the upcoming semi-finals. But I think Valleys might have had one or two out. Uh, Waddles is also missing a couple, so um, if they can both stay injury-free, they'll be um, probably around grand final day. Well, here we are, the last round of the competition, Mark, and uh, uh, you can probably know how these other teams uh, play. I've noticed with your your uh, way you play, these two guys uh, put the ball up in the air probably six to a dozen times on the weekend, but you guys don't seem to go with the midfield bomb. Is there any reason for that? 
Um, so sometimes, it depends who we're playing. If we, we like to play the game at our pace, so we don't... Um, it depends what you know field, field position we're in, where we're at. We're normally just going to dink it in the corner and back our D because we... Our defensive sets are really good. They keep they keep the team to 20, 30 metres, so we want to get it as far back there as we can. Of the um, uh, uh, sp speaking to you this season, you don't seem to worry about what everyone else is doing. But uh, what did you think of that game? Were you did you have an interest in it? Yeah, I, I followed it, um, like the live scores and that. But it's so hard because there's players out every week and there's new players in. But we played both those. Well, we've played Waddles again a second time. That'll be twice each. We played those teams, and they've all been close games for us. So. Um, they're both quality teams. Well, let's have a look at a couple of these tries. This Nathan Blacklock uh, try, like he scored in the uh, in the grand final. Watch this. This is uh, uh, him from about the 30 metre line, and no one's catching him. Watch him about 10 metres from the end. He's toying with the opposition there. Bit cheeky little stuff there. Did you ever you used to do that, Reeds? I never ran that far, and if I did make a break, I was looking for support, mate. I didn't want to go on that distance. <laughs> and what about you, Mark? Have you scored a a 70 metre try? No. Not, e <laughs> <laughs> not even against your brother in the backyard. No, not even. Oh, well, there we go. And let's have a look at the try of the match in the 35th minute from Waddle's Michael Marshall. This is a ripper. Uh, uh, Travis Burns puts a pinpoint uh, kick up, and the flying Michael Marshall. Uh, pretty to watch uh, there, Reeds. Yeah, look, they're, they're, Travis Burns, you know, has played a lot of NRL. He's a quality player and he's been a real difference to Waddles. Particularly this year, he's, they've all got around him and he's really taken charge of the game. Yeah, and then uh, Ryan Duggan, he dropped a couple of balls just before he scored in the 73rd minutes. Let's have a look at Ryan Duggan's uh, try that clinched the actual game to make it 18 points to 10. You got that one there, Barry? Here he comes. And they come across there, across the face of the gold. Just keeping the ball alive, and I'll oh, actually keep it alive. They dropped it there behind uh, for Andrew uh, Richardson, and Ryan Duggan gets through some feeble defence there. What would you have done different there, Mark? Tackle that guy that got the offload away. Well, oh, there you go. It's amazing if they don't. If you if you tackle them, they don't score. Is that right, Mark? Yeah, big, we've got a big emphasis on um, wrapping the ball up first and not letting offloads go. So watching that, it's going to be more. Key for us this weekend. Surprise! Every club don't listen to you, Mark. It'd be good, but uh, oh no, only joking, mate. But look, Webke Price medal points. Uh, Travis Burns got three points. He also got the uh, Marangadan Pub Player of the Match and the Hutchies Builders Player of the Round, and deservedly so. Denzel Burns was on fire. We'll speak a lot about Valleys as we come to the uh, preview of the last round, round 19, round 18. Mitchell Duff got the one point in reserve grade. A nice, tough game that was. Uh, I think it was. Uh, uh, minor premiership on the uh, on the actual platter uh, for Valleys in reserve grade. It was 17 points to 12. Valleys getting over Waddles in a good game. Under 18, 74-22 Valleys over Waddles. And then the other under, under 18 game on Saturday. Uh, look, uh, South Burnett were up 34 points to 10 reads, right, and lost 40 points to 34. Yeah, they're a great side, um, South Burnett, and they've got some real flair about them. South, on the other hand, the Tigers, they're, they're one of the better 18 sides um, going around for, and for a number of years. But they did exactly that in the Madsen Rasmussen final. They let Dolby kick away and then they chased down late and they didn't get there on the weekend. They were lucky to get South Burnett. Keep, been keeping an eye on the under 18 so, uh, comp, uh, Mark? Just our, just our 18s, to be honest with you. Um, I think if we win, we go into up in the third or fourth, fourth maybe. Yeah, well, we'll have a look at that. Uh, out there at Dolby Leeds Club, Dolby <laughs> defeated Highfields by 46 points to 16. Alex Ambia has shown some really good late season form, scoring a hat-trick. Steve Franciscus, the player of the match, two weeks in a row, reads. Yeah, look, how long can he keep going for? He's a fantastic player. He had so much to him, but his speed and the way he can change direction at full pace, you know, right on the defensive line, he, he's fantastic, Steve. And the second oldest player in the actual competition. Are you? Oh, no, he's no, he's the oldest one, Mark. But what do you think about Steve? Oh, he's a great player. He's, you've really got to watch him when he gets in there for his scoots. Um, he chopped us apart. And he did from dummy half, didn't he? We even knew it was coming and we still couldn't contain it, so... Yeah. Campbell Shearer got two points. Corey Blades back to a little bit of form. He got one point in reserve grade. Important win. Dol High fields away. 32-16 over Dolby. And the under 18s, a big competitive match from uh, top five uh, competition. Dolby 40 defeated High Fields 24. 
for the uh, Hutchison Builders match of the round. Warwick 34 32 over Gatton. The lead changed seven times. Get that at half time. It was 18 points to 14 after a uh, well, controversial try, but it seemed to be okay. Cody Tierney, he got the ball from 90 metres out after stripping it and he. he uh, he sprinted away 90 metres, uh, Reeds, and there was uh, a thought that he did not place the ball. Uh, they thought it was uh, short, but he got the four points. Ah, the referee blew the whistle, mate. They're never wrong, them refs. So, uh, oh, some of the boys here don't agree. But uh, I've asked a referee once. He told me he's never made a mistake before. But um, Val, um, Gatton and Warwick, they won't be able to afford to keep doing that, um, swapping leads. Once you get in there and you get in front, you've got to try and maintain that. Important game uh, there, Mark. You've had some so, so many close ones, as have Warwick and, and Gatton. But, uh, yeah, you were certainly going for Warwick in that game, especially given the uh, situation in the last round. Yeah, it was the same time as us, so we weren't really paying too much attention to it. But I'm very lucky that Warwick beat me, to be honest. A yeah. couple of tries to Matt Marshall, who made his return from injury. Matt, Mitch Watson, Cody Tanny, Sam Bromwell, Josh Cruz had tries. I think, what's that about... Uh, nine or ten tries in the match uh, it was end of end stuff uh, and then the Webke Price medal uh, points Craig Don had a wonderful game for Warwick and finally got the player of the match after uh, being in the mix over the uh, other OB and Cookie Cool times Billy Jack which was very very good and Sam Bromhill got, got one point yeah, look, great players. Um, I like Billy Jackwitz. I think he's been fantastic for Gatton for a number of years. Um, Sam Broomhill, though, isn't he fantastic for Warwick? And uh, they'll need him throughout the finals. And we're finding with those teams, as we do with yours, you, uh, doesn't the cream uh, rise to the top, mate, uh, uh, for those teams? Uh, Billy Jackwitz, C uh, Craig Don, Mick Bloomfield, uh, Sam Bromhill, all quality players. Yeah, I think I played with... Um couple of those boys when I was younger in Warwick and District Comp, but they're all, they're all great players. And <coughs> Can you remember back that far? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 10, 12 years ago. Yeah. I thought that was funny, Michael. Did you think that? I don't even like it. Yeah, it was sort of <laughs> my... <laughs> was it my delivery? Anyway, reserve grade, important win for Gatton. They won 50 points to four. Under 18s, 36 points to 14. Gatton over Warwick. In second division, uh, Gatton 24-16 over Warwick. And in uh, the other second division, games on the weekend. Newtown 30 points to 10 over Gundawindi. Uh, Newtown undefeated in that second division. Um, could done by 20 there mate. Can you can you do the deed on them? Uh, I think I think we get 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 closer than that. I mean the mid season final was that was a blowout sort of score, so that's an improvement there. And I'm hoping we see him again in the grand final to be honest. Well yeah. Lukey Hellier's out. He's been given two matches, suspension from that match, so yeah, he'll I'd miss this weekend coming, and more headbutting someone. Yeah, but, and then yeah. he'll miss the well. The first weekend, you then will get a, a a week off, but the first um, semi they play, he's going to be out as well. So yeah. he's the leader. He runs them around that paddock. And Valley's travelled out to Sullivan Oval, out at at uh, Stanthorpe, and unfortunately didn't have enough players. But they did play a game with Stanthorpe, uh, giving some players over to Valley's, and congratulations. Uh, for arranging that for Stanthorpe to celebrate their 100 years there. Pittsworth 66 <laughs> points to Oakey's 22. Again, Tom O'Sullivan was brilliant. He leads the uh, uh, Wepke Price medal uh, points for our section. Hector Alberto, the Brazilian love god, he played well for uh, uh, Oakey. Congratulations to you, uh, Hector. Tom got the three points, Brent Hearn got two points for Pittsworth and Hector got the one point. And in reserve grade, close game there, 34 points to 30, Pittsworth over Oakey. And in under 18, 60, 62 points to six, Pittsworth over Oakey. And it was Pittsworth's last game of the season. And then on to the game out there at Glenholm Park, Gundawindi 22, defeated Brothers 16. Everyone enjoy that one? Yay. Oh, I don't know what happened, and at half time you were down <laughs> and a hat trick to Josh Kelly. Is he here? Is that how you pronounce it? Josh Keller? Got an early start. Uh, is he going to bed early, does he? Uh, well, as they do, mate. Do you put your boys bed, uh, to bed yeah. early, do you? Yeah. yeah, so it's all yours. But look, uh, the first half, mate, you know, like uh, you've, you've had some not so good halves, but you do, you came home well in that game. Yeah, the first half was. It was diabolic, we were dropping balls and they, they were smart, they kept putting bombs up in the sun and we dropped a fair few back there and that 
sort of stands. But we, um, you know, we did real well in the second half. Keep, we kept them to nil, and we, we took on the points. Yeah, and but such an important game, and it was a really good win for Gunn to win, especially away rates. Yeah, look, and brothers wanted to finish that that game off. They were, I was talking to a few of them during the week, and they were really keen. They wanted to to get a hold of Gunn to Wendy, but the boys um, played really well. And the season's on the line every game for. For Gundy and for Gatton, and, and fortunately you found yourself in the position where you're, you're in the five, and the, it's all up to you now for what you do this weekend against Waddles. Uh, Adam Tribe in the audience, is he? Yep. Yeah, Tribe, where are you, mate? <laughs> At the bar. Good on you, mate. Three points. You're going pretty well these last few games, but who also played well for you on the weekend, uh, Mark? Um, I think Callum Skinner. He, he went well for an old guy. And that'll be a beer, thanks very yeah, much for that. Yeah. Like Josh Keller got a hat trick, so he, he obviously killed it. But everyone in that second half stepped up. Um, Your fullback's going well, isn't he? Yeah, he's going well. Unfortunately, unfortunately for us, but good for him, he's going down to Newcastle at the end of the year. So yeah. um, best of luck to him down there. But yeah, we, we all went real good in the second half. Uh, not the flow of tries for uh, David the last few games. Uh, uh, yeah. Any reason for that? Or well, I just... think everyone's sort of cottoning on and they're, they're marking him up pretty well. But yep, um, no, he'll, he'll, they'll, they'll come back soon. Mate. That's right. Well, Mitchie Bitros got two points. Matthew Lloyd got one point. Matthew here tonight? Yeah. yeah. Hey, did you pull up all right, Matthew, did you? Um, yeah, is... you're like Mark Offendale, not a hair out of place. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Mark? Uh, he used to play Q-Cup down Oh, you played Q Cup at, um, at, at Tweed Heads, did you, Matthew? Yes, indeed. Yeah, congratulations, Matthew. Congratulations <laughs> on your game on Sunday. Maybe there's a bit of uh, having a crack at me. You reckon? Uh, no, he actually did. No, no, he no. Did. no, no, no. Did. Well, why is everyone laughing? I know I'm ugly. It's not a bad player. Not consistent. <laughs> so it's nothing like having your teammate support, is it? It's good. Yeah, well, that, he's a reserve grade captain, so he's, yeah. he's never going to give A grade anyway. Anyway, so we all think go. Matty Lloyd's a great footballer and have him in the side. Yeah, yeah. good on you, Matthew. And in reserve grade, a great win for the Reggies. 28 Woo! points to 12. Yeah. And the under-18s, an equally as impressive win, 48 points to 22. Let's have a look at the ladder with one round to go. Waddles and Valleys, 26 to, to Waddles, 25 to Valleys. We know the scenario there. Both of those teams are playing. One loses, one, uh, one wins. Uh, could change that uh, position there. Warwick are in the three with uh, 22 points. And it's Dolby on, on 19, Gundawindi on 16, Gatton on 14, South Brothers and the rest are all out of it and they've had a good season. Let's have a look at the reserve grade uh, uh, ladder. Uh, similar uh, here with uh, Valleys on 25 and Gatton on 24 and they play each other on the weekend so that's for minor premiership. Waddles on 22, Gundy on 21, uh, Highfields on 19 so Gundy, Winnie, you boys uh, sort of can make third country which is certainly in the five. What's that Michael? We're third. That's 18's Michael. That's 18's mate, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were taking us now. Nice, that's good Michael. That's good, Michael. Pay attention, you idiot. Okay. <laughs> and uh, yes, yeah, so going to Windy, uh, they can uh, finish in the top third. Um, How 18? Yeah, but yeah. We, uh, no, no. This is uh, this reserve is grade. this is reserve grade. Yeah, got that. Yeah. So if you win on the weekend, you'll leapfrog Waddles into third. Yeah. Yeah. Me personally, Mark, I think a bit of an attitude change would be right. Uh, <laughs> Highfields on 19, Warwick on 17. I think Dolby are out of it and the rest there for uh, reserve grade. In under 18, let's have a look at that uh, uh, ladder. South have uh, bottled up the minor premiership. Congratulations to the Southern Suburbs Young Cubs there. 25 points to Dolby. Gatton on 22. Uh, Gatton play Valleys, so still Gundy a chance to get to top top three there, but I think the four and against is probably a bit less. Got to win by, 300 points. by 300 points, Matthew. Thank you very much, mate. And the mathematician of the Gat, I'm going to win here, boys. Highfields are on 19. They play uh, Oakey. You think they'd win that? And, and uh, Valleys are on 19, so there could be a playoff uh, there for the fifth position. South uh, South Burnett, can they make it, Matthew? You know that. Uh, again, if we lose this weekend, Highfield South Burnett can jump Yeah, so uh, we'll see what happens there. Pittsworth, they're Gornski on 18 because they don't play this weekend. Let's have a quick look at the second division. Uh, we've got Newtown undefeated on 18 points. Gatton outright in uh, second. 
uh, with 14 points. Gundawindi on 11 and Stanthorpe on 9. They play each other. There's a difference there because Stanthorpe, I think, have a plus 88 uh, advantage there. And uh, so it's just a matter of winning that with Texas on 7 points. Warwick play Newtown. So they can still make uh, that top five. Let's have a look at the uh, Webke Price medal leaderboard. Tommy Sullivan, he's taken the lead there in the Webke Price medal. The way it works is that the Obi and Cookie Call, we actually vote for just one third of the actual um, uh, points. Uh, points, and the coaches uh, vote for the other two. Uh, you, you vote all the time, do you, Mark? Uh, Frosty does that. Do you? And Frosty, do you, do you always back the, the same gun to win you player, do you? Oh, you don't, mate. That's a good boy. Uh, good on you. Okay, Mitchy Ravel, he got 18 points. Steve Franciscus has surged up the ladder with 17. And who else has surged there? Travis Burns up to 11. So you can see that on there as well. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, an interesting time of year, isn't it, Reds? Yeah, look, and that's pretty tight. That, that's great up around there. Tommy Sullivan's been really good for um, Pittsworth um, re in recent times. Mitch Ravel's been fantastic for brothers throughout the year. Um, he was actually my tip along with Benny Sullivan to be right up at the end because Benny Sullivan, he hasn't got any points in the last couple of weeks from you. I hope <laughs> yes, he's getting it from everyone else. So, mm -hmm. But geez, he can tackle, can't he? He comes up with 50, 60 tackles a game. Yeah, but likes like Sammy Bromwell and Craig Don have been very, very good. Who do you like for the player of the year? Who's the best player in the competition in your opinion, Mark? Um, well, I wouldn't go that Steve Franciscus. I reckon he's up there. Uh, depend forwards and backs are completely different sort of roles, aren't they? So yeah, but we saw Steve at his best uh, against you fellas a couple of weeks ago, didn't we? Yeah, he's just dangerous when he wants to be. He knows what he can do. And of course, with you fellas, you've got a good spread right across the park. So you know, as you can see with Mitch Ravel and uh, uh, Tommy O'Sullivan, uh, your your points get spread. So uh, uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. Yeah, I, don't, I think every week we've had different um, you know, points. Yeah, ones for us. It's just and that's that's good. More consistency than that. Yeah, me personally, I think Callum Skinner's having an absolute grand season for you boys. What about you? Yeah, I'm just great to see the, the Gundy side in there. I'm looking forward to seeing him into the semi finals, and I hope they go a long way in to, to get to the grand final because it'll give all the um, people in town and the clubs in town an opportunity to see him play footy. Well, good day. We're uh, here on a break. I thought I'd go around a few of the tables here. Let's go over here. What's this young fellow's name? What's your name? Hughes. Yeah, do you play footy? Yeah. Are you any good? Not really. That's good. And we've got Michael Offendale, mate. Are you pumped up for the quiz today, mate? Yeah, I'm good at footy. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah, yeah you're good at footy, yeah? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I'm ready for the quiz too. Oh, yeah. that's good. And who we got here? Uh, Josh Silcock. Yeah. And uh, how's your footy going this year? Uh, yeah, C grade's going pretty well. Sitting at third. Okay. And these scallywags over here out of the way. Yeah. Uh, Jake Friss. Yeah. And Friss, are you going all right this year? Yeah, yeah, mate, going all right. Have you got any meat pies this year? Oh, uh, yeah, I got one. So, no nudie runs? You can have a nudie run this year? Oh, no, I'm off it. This is the shake. Convert from Rugby Union. Uh, convert from Rugby Union. What's your name? Jake. Yeah, do you have a last name? Crookshank. Yeah. And you're playing this year? Yeah, yeah, B grade. That's good, right? Yeah. And um, uh, so, mate, you seem to be a bit of a leader here, is that right? Yeah, a lot of the boys look up to me. I've got a lot of, lots to sort of offer them personally and obviously physically, so <laughs> it's, it's a very big thing for the club. Yeah, that's great. I actually didn't hear a word you said then. <laughs> and um, so over here to my old mate, uh, uh, Callum, how are you, mate? Yeah, good. Big game on the weekend, mate. Yeah, that will be good. Yeah, you just haven't got the chocolates a few close games this year, eh? Yeah, but we'll turn that around this weekend, hopefully. So. Yeah, you've been working in progress as a, as a road, but uh, I think you're going to have a good crack at Waddles this week. Yeah, look, we, we had Waddles within the last five minutes of the game and it just went downhill for us, so if we can... Turn that around with a few extra players and the team will be right. Yeah, I liked it when you played uh, Highfields, mate. You and McIntosh came on the first 20 minutes. You were 20-0 up. When you went off, you didn't come back until the 20th minute in the second half, right? And then you closed the game out. Um, haven't been able to do that since that g game, have you? No. We've uh, played around with a few different things, but I think we'll be right now. All right, mate. We'll see you on the, on, on the weekend. All right, mate. Too easy. Thanks a lot. Going to the break, we're going to talk uh, the preview of round 18 and then the big quiz from the big Offendale boys and 
uh, are made of theirs after that. Let's go to a break and we'll listen to an interview uh, with Waddles' Nathan Galton, who uh, uh, spoke to us after the Waddles Valleys game on the weekend. This is the Toowoomba Rugby League footy show. Andrew Byron reporting QRL, TRL Media, and we're here with Nathan Galton. I'm pretty fired up, Nathan Galton, today, mate. You've got a big 10 minutes in the bin, mate, but you uh, you really came to play. You had big, long minutes today, didn't you, mate? Yeah, I um, started at front row. Um, wouldn't really expect what to happen. I think I was 20 minutes in, and, yeah, they were saying, I'll oh, keep pushing minutes if you can. So, um, hard game, very physical. Um, yeah, 10 in the bin, unfortunately. Just retaliated to a swing and arm, I suppose. Probably shouldn't have. But, oh, well, that's footy. Yeah, but these two sides, you know, they've got a, there's a lot of respect there. So those things to, are to be expected, especially when you're just trying to get the momentum. Don't you agree? Yeah, this time of the year, like I was saying last week, this time of the year is really important. You need to start getting momentum going into the finals. Um, it was a fast game at the start, but then plenty of drop ball from both teams. Really slowed it down. Cold night, you know, everyone was getting stiff and sore. So, I don't know. <laughs> There you go, but look, the, the high balls were a flavour uh, in this game and they seem to be uh, more and more each time you play these sides. Absolutely, like that's a quality side and everyone knows it, you know. Um, if they turn up to play, they can absolutely annihilate teams and, and respect goes out to them, but unfortunately tonight was our night and we got the chocolate, so... So Polly, uh, so Polly was going to say, mate, you started off at fullback uh, uh, this season, mate, and then you dropped the ball a few times, mate. You did that on purpose, didn't you? Say you wouldn't be at fullback. Absolutely love the middle. You'd know. <laughs> you did, mate. Yeah, you I were really good. I think I think I've played every position on the field this year, including referee. Sometimes, <laughs> <laughs> but you have, mate, and I think you've got, you're going very well. But it was enjoyable to be at a nice, tough game. Did you find the difference between playing playing valleys and playing other sides? Absolutely. Like I was saying earlier, that's a quality side, and you know you have to turn up to play this side. Otherwise, they will put 40, 50 points on you easy. Um, you know your defence has got to be good. Those those Burns boys, they're unbelievable. They're they're honestly they're too good for this competition and, and yeah I think they, they need to go away from here and, and better themselves all I got to hear is you guys come here little buggers I can't catch you I was getting that frustrated I tell you oh, if I could just get one of them by the jerseys <laughs> anyway you played very very well tonight uh, Nathan and bring on Gundy next week absolutely looking forward to it Hope. Up next, it's a preview of the final round of the Toowoomba Rugby League, round 18. This is the TRL Footy Show, brought to you by Power FM, Hutchies Builders and the Gundawindi Rugby League Football Club. Live from the Queensland Hotel Gundawindi on Power TV Australia. Much variety into your day as possible. PowerFMRadio.com.au Power FM Is your computer driving you crazy? Is it slow or doing things you didn't expect? 
Well, having a computer crash or pick up a virus can be a complete nightmare for a business, so having someone local you can trust to get you up and running again is critical. The dedicated team of experts at Computer Troubleshooters Toowoomba West will put your mind at ease from the moment you walk through the door and will get your problem solved in no time with a 100% guarantee on their work. Laptops, tablets, PCs, whatever you have, Roger and the team can fix it for you. So visit them today at 236 Bridge Street, Newtown. Can't get in to see them? No worries. Just call them on 46421331 and they'll come to you. Toowoomba Troubleshooters, Toowoomba West, on the web at www.computertroubleshooters.com.au forward slash Toowoomba West. Thanks for your company for the TRL Footy Show from the Queensland Hotel Gundawindi. And now it's back to Obi and the panel. Yeah, welcome back to the Toowoomba Rugby League Footy Show, sponsored by Hutchison Builders and Power FM Radio. Let's get stuck right into the round 18. It's the last round of this wonderful 100-year uh, uh, competition for Toowoomba Rugby League. And on Saturday, it's Warwick versus Brothers. 6.30 at Father Ranger Oval. Uh, Warwick still uh, remember their first round loss against uh, Brothers, and Brothers really want to finish off their season. How do you see this one going, Mark? Uh, Warwick should come home pretty strong in this one. Right? You think that one? Yeah. What about you, Reeds? Yeah, look, I'll go for Warwick. I think they're disappointing that they didn't win by better against Gatton, but Gatton had a fair bit to play for. Um, brothers will be just trying to play for a bit of pride. Warwick want to secure their place uh, in the table and go into the finals with a win. Yeah, you're right. I think if you're in the top three, you do want to go into the finals with a win. But if you're coach of Warwick, uh, Mark, and you had a couple of injuries in your co in your your team, would you rest them? I wouldn't play injured players, no. But um, I think they got the depth. But, but, to but what if they got uh, niggling players? Niggles, yeah. I think against brothers, they could rest a couple. To be honest. And would you? Would we? Yeah. I don't know if we could rest a couple. No, no, I mean, would where, you, if you were coach? Of, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah that's definitely. good. Okay, well, and the big game, Obi and Cookie Call, the Power TV delayed telecast right here on Power uh, TV Australia.com. It'll be on at 7 uh, p.m., uh, the actual. Uh, uh, game itself on powertvaustralia.com on Monday night. It's Gundawindi versus Waddles and this is going to be a ripper of a match reads. Yeah, look, this will be a great great game. Uh, Gundawindi win, they just keep themselves in the five and get ready to go in. If they were to lose and Gatton managed to get a win, I think there might be a midweek playoff the following week and no club wants to have a midweek playoff going into the, the finals. Waddles though, they're going great. They're, they're beating sides. They've got uh, their best teams on the paddock at the moment, so they're going a long way. They'll want to make sure they lock up the minor premiership, so they've got a fair bit to play for. Gunny's got a fair bit to play for. It's going to be a great game. Mark, your thoughts? Look, it's, it's going to be really tough, but um, you know, we're a chance. We got close to them at home last time we played them there. Yeah, they scored late, uh, uh, two late, uh, too late, tries. Too late tries. And you were in front, weren't you? Fifth tackle. We were up by two, actually. Yep. So. Mm. Um, at, at Waddles, so. At Waddles. Yep. Yeah, we, yeah, we can only do what we can do. We don't want to sit around on a Sunday waiting to see the scores and all play a midweek game. And you didn't have David Armstrong in the first round, did you? No, we did. It was like a shell of the team we've got now, to be honest. We've got a heap of new players in that team. Yeah, yeah you have. And, uh, yeah, look, uh, yeah, uh, a lot of things on the line here. Minor premiership is very important for Waddles. But, again, you win on Saturday night. You are in the, in the, in the five. Yeah, we'd rather do it like that. I don't, we don't want to play a midweek game. Yeah. Yeah. And where do you beat uh, Waddles? Is this, uh, I think when you come to the finals and play in those top sides, it's just about hanging on to the ball, isn't it? Hanging on to the ball, hanging on to the ball in de defence as well. We don't want any second phase. We don't want um, pressure on kickers. We don't want them to putting up bombs. It's going to be windy out here. Um, nighttime game as well. 
Um, yeah. Who, who's the players to watch? Who's going to be creative for them? We will keep an eye on both their halves, on Duggan and, and Burns. Um, just keep pressuring them. Um, I won't tease who we're going to go out and attack, but yeah, no. we're going to yeah we're going to make because they they run everything. Without them, I think you know things might fall apart. Uh, your forward pack was a lot better second half last uh, last week. wasn't too good. Uh, Dolby's found you out a little bit. They've got a huge forward pack and a really good bench. You're really going to have to stand up on Saturday night. I think that was the last time we played them. Our forward pack was what got it over. Um, you know, the boys just coming in, running as hard as they could, making their tackles. Um, so normally our forward packs are okay too. So they, they, they've got a lot of big fellas there that they struggle sometimes getting out of their own 20 yeah. if there's line speed from the opposition. That's and what we do. Like yeah. Our line speed's good. Um, we sort of back ourselves on that and three in the tackle. And you just got to niggle Ryan Duggan a bit. Yeah. He's a good bloke, Ryan. I love him as a footballer, but yeah. he gives away some uh, penalties with his aggression sometimes. Oh, well, thanks for letting us know. <laughs> I told him last week to stop it. Yeah, well, you've actually got, uh, uh, haven't uh, had the same pack on. You've had most of them yourself. Uh, uh, Callum Skinner, is McIntosh playing this one? No, no, Liam Close played last week. He really stepped up. Um, Callum, myself, Joel Curry's back this week. Matty um, Lloyd's going to play, obviously. Matty Lloyd will be back over with Carl. And then you've yep. got um, Ash Jarrett. He's been going real well. He's popping into hooker for us. Yep. Um, and off the bench, you've got the big Fijian. Yep. And Kyle Munro. That's right. And what I was going to say was that uh, uh, Waddles, uh, as soon as that 20 minute goes, they take off the two two bookends, put on um, uh, Pearson and Wilson. You've done that as well. Is that the way you're going to do it or are you going to continue to do it this way or is there a bit of a gamesmanship there uh, come Saturday? Uh, we're playing a little bit different this week. so um, You're not going to tell me everything? No, I yeah. can't tell you. Why not, mate? You don't have to kill me? They're probably watching this. So. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So, uh, but, yeah, it's interesting that, isn't it? I think it also depends on when you do your replacements on your share of possession. If you've had the ball in hand and you haven't had to work as hard, you can sort of keep your, your funnies on for a little bit longer than if you've had to do a lot of defensive work. If you haven't had it and you've got to defend, you might have them off earlier. Yeah, but it's funny that, Reeds, and as you, you would attest to, is that Waddles haven't worried about where the game is. They've just gone 20, 20, 20 for the last two seasons. Yeah, I suppose, but um, they won't be with Dale Perkins who plays big minutes, so... Do you think they need to change the structure? They're well, winning. Doing, They'll have to change well. to beat you guys. They're, no, they're doing well. They're going to win the minor premiership if they win this week. Uh, there you go. But it's going to be a fantastic match uh, there. Uh, Obi and Cookie Call live from half past five. Let's go on to the Sunday game. South play Dolby. Uh, South will also, a bit, bit similar to Brothers. They want to finish off their, uh, their season, uh, which has been tremendous uh, South, hasn't it, this year? Yeah, look, really built well over the last uh, 12 months, particularly this season. Got some good footballers back, a number of our under-20s that uh, finished uh, last season with us have gone to South and that's really sort of helped them along. Dolby though, they keep putting a good side on the paddock uh, every week. They're in the five. Uh, South can't make it now so they'll be playing for pride. Um, Dolby will be wanting to win, they won't want to let anyone get too close to them. Yeah, but I think they'll probably choose to uh, probably rest some players uh, there, don't you think, Mark? Um, they can. We nearly beat them, I think, when they had, when they had a few players away. Yes, we did beat did. them. We yeah, did beat them. Did. They had a few players away. Whether, as you said before, whether they want to go into the finals losing a game. Or... Anyway, we'll see what happens. And then uh, the battle for the wooden spoon uh, out there at Highfields. Highfields and Oakey, uh, how do you see this one uh, going? I think uh, we all probably agree that Highfields is probably going to win that one. Yeah, I was talking to uh, Peter Beatros, their president, today, and the boys are really uh, keen. They had a um, you know, a good win a couple of weeks ago. The loss last week. They'll be looking to get back, and uh, here's their opportunity to finish the season off. Okay, we're pretty good uh, against you guys in the first round. They were. They're real strong. I think a lot of players. I was talking to Tuki, and a lot of players sort of got injured or with work commitments and whatever, and that sort of sucked them dry. So it's a bit unfortunate. And then the big one, the Hutchies play uh, the Hutchies game of the round. Obi and Cookie call. Uh, live from half past one, Valleys versus Gatton. Uh, actually, it's funny, uh, Reeds, that uh, this game depends on what happens with uh, Gunda, Windy and Waddles, doesn't it? Yeah, well, if uh, Gundy uh, lose to Waddles and Gatton will have something more to play for against Valleys, they'll be coming out. Valleys uh, won't change their position on the ladder uh, regardless. Oh, well, if they win, they get minor premiership, I suppose. So yep. they've got a bit to go for. 
Uh, Valleys aren't going to take the foot off the throat of Gatton. They're going to get right into them on the weekend. Yeah, well, just to remind everyone, if Gunter Windy beat uh, uh, Waddles and Valleys are actually playing for the minor premiership and Gatton will miss out on the five if Gunter Wind Windy beat uh, Waddles. Whereas if Waddles beat Gunter Windy, uh, then Gatton are playing for a midweek playoff against the Boers uh, there as well. Now, I just sort of would sort of comment on reserve grade. Valleys and Gatton play for the minor premiership on the weekend whilst Gunter Windy and Waddles play for the third spot. A Warwick win over over Brothers and if Highfields lose to Oakey, uh, because Oakey played pretty well in reserve grade last week, then it will be a midweek playoff between Highfields and Warwick. In under 18, South Burnett must beat Pittsworth. Uh, uh, no, uh, they are playing, yes, they're playing Pittsworth, that's right. Uh, and Highfields and Valleys lose for them to make the finals. Everyone got that? I'll speak slower. If, if Highfields beat Oakey, which is likely, and Valleys upset Gatton, then there will be a midweek playoff, uh, but it's uh, looking like Highfields will keep their fifth spot, but the Hawks may uh, choose to arrest players. What do you think? Yeah, look, I see Highfields winning this there. All their 18s are only going to uh, have to play that. They haven't got to worry about backing up too much for A grade. Um, it, look, it's a great competition, the under-18s. It's a yeah. fantastic competition, um, but I think Highfields will get sneak in there. Yeah, your guys have been knocking on the door this year with the uh, under-18s. They've had, uh, like the previous years, they've been hot and cold, but this year they've been fairly consistent, haven't they, uh, whether they've lost or won? Yeah, they have been. Um, great coach and Matthew Galvin over there, and I think they go better on Saturday night games because they don't have a weekend to mess up than the Sundays. But, yeah, no, they should get away with a win this week. matty has been around so long, it'll be just uh, nice to, to see him with a smile on his doll uh, if he takes the, the young balls all the way. Yeah, no, he's always smiling. He's very happy with the guy. Yeah, good on you. Well, in second division, Mats and Rasmussen finalists, Gunder Windy, they're third, and Stanthorpe, before they play each other, whoever win will secure, secure third spot, uh, given the Gremlins better for and against. Uh, Warwick are uh, in with a very slim chance. They've got to beat the undefeated Newtown to uh, taste some finals uh, action there. As we go to the break, uh, we're going to look at Sean strong selections but it's on to Obi's quiz after this one uh, reads it's going to be an absolute ripper this is the uh, Toowoomba Rugby League footy show G'day everybody Sean Lee's here from Hutchinson Builders for Sean selections um, so I'm out here today in the RSPCA Toowoomba job um, I was going to introduce you to the project named Aaron Worsley G'day Aaron Thank you, Sean. So, um, so for those of you who don't know, Aaron used to be the seventh best hooker in under 18s in 2006, didn't you, mate? Yeah, it's seventh. Yeah, it's far, yeah. yeah. The seventh in, in the brothers' side in under 18s. Is that right? No. What, what, was the best, what was the best part of your game? Uh, defense, usually. Really? Yeah. Not in, 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 put this pass. No. Could, 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 could tackle. Yeah. Making sure it's missed tackles, really. Up pieces. Gotcha, that was an important role. Yeah. Okay, so mate, tell us about the job out here. Uh, yeah, new RSPCA site, Toowoomba. Um, total of eight buildings, kennels, um, short term stay for people, you know, travelling out of town, stuff like that. Um, bit of an admin building, so there'll be, um, you know, you know um, what are they called? Accommodation. Yeah, short, nice short term accommodation. Yeah, just like, Administration staff, yeah, building A, yeah, building A. How, how many people are going to stay in the office? Not sure. Do, you, don't, you don't know these things, yeah. Probably staff, admin staff will be around 10, I guess. Um, no comment. <laughs> and, 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 and it's a good looking building, mate. The administration building's nice, natural light through those those uh, those custom openings with the skylights. Nice bit of folded steel at the front entry. Yeah, future skylights. Behind. Yeah, natural light. Um, Home concrete floors, polished floors, stuff like that, just of course natural. Well, what about the cat, the, the cat climbing pole? What do you think of that? Ah, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty exotic sort of timber power pole with a few sticks on it, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Cats gonna love it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, how do you, uh, how do you commission a cat pole? Ah, uh, not sure. Not sure, I don't think you can. Right, mate. So we're getting to the footy now. So we got uh, we've got a big game. Um, Valleys coming off their their bloody their loss last week to uh, to Waddle. So we've got Valleys playing Gatton. Um, what's your tip, Aaron? Uh, Valleys. I'd say Valleys over Gatton. Valleys on top of the ladder. Um, 
looking to back it up this year. Uh, Valley's top of the ladder. Yeah, but yeah. I like Pretty sure. Okay. Check the economy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no. no worries. Yep. Um, yeah, Valley's at home would be tough. Valley's in there at home, are they? Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, no worries. Sean, Sean's giving me the tip. Sean's giving me the news on that. <laughs> Mate, I'm going to go with you as well. I reckon Valley's. Um, uh, another great game last week out at out at uh, out at Bottles Ground, mate. Uh, Bottles and Valleys. Those two sides always turn it on. Uh, Valleys lost, and so then I reckon they're going to bounce back, and uh, I reckon they're going to give Gatton a, a good touch up. Uh, righto, fellas. Enjoy the footy, and we'll see you next week. See ya, bye. There's more of the TRL Footy Show brought to you by Power FM, Hutchison Builders and the Gundawindi Rugby League Football Club live from the Queensland Hotel Gundawindi on Power TV Australia. Hutchies lives here. We're locals, just like you. To us, construction is really about people, not just bricks and concrete. It's people who bring our structures to life and build communities. We stick by the people who make communities. From Toowoomba Rugby League to RACQ Life Flight Rescue Service, Milne Bay Military Challenge and the Toowoomba Tennis International, Hutchies is proud to back the people who support the region. Oz Hosting is proud to support Switched On IT in bringing practical help to Australian businesses. We're talking to literally hundreds of businesses every day about their IT services, how to make them more efficient, how to make their businesses more efficient and how to protect their valuable data. If you'd like your IT services securely hosted right here in Australia and expertly managed, talk to Oz Hosting. Looking for exposure for your business or event? Take your business, community event, training seminar, sports fixture, function, concert or exhibition to the world with Power TV Australia and Power FM's unique live outside simulcasts. We can turn your next local event into a worldwide sensation with stunning live pictures, interviews, graphics and live action replays for a fraction of the usual cost. From a festival or sports fixtures to a corporate or charity event, Power TV Australia and Power FM can take your message live to our local and national viewers and listeners. Invite the world to your party by contacting Barry today on 0431 390 920 or email programming at powertvaustralia.com for a quote. Thanks for your company for the TRL Footy Show, live from the Queensland Hotel Gundawindi. And now, it's Obi's Quiz. Hey, welcome back to the Toowoomba Rugby League Footy Show, the last segment uh, at this wonderful Queensland Hotel. Put your hands together for the Queen... Put your hands together for the Queensland Hotel staff and everyone. Thanks very much. Thank you. We haven't had a quiz for a while. It's Obi's Quids, and we've got uh, some scallywags here. The coach of the Gundawindi Boars, Mark Offendahl. Put your hands together for Mark. Well positioned. Good to and see you giving yourself a clap there, Mark. Michael Offendahl. Put your hands together for Michael. Yeah. Yeah. Now, watch Michael through this because uh, you can see that there's a camera up the top there, okay? And he's also got a screen that he can see himself on, okay? <laughs> now, count how many times he actually looks at the screen rather than the camera because he's looking at himself. Is that right? <laughs> and we've got uh, this young Smoke. guy, young Ben Lovell. Put your hands together for Benny! <laughs> now, we know a bit about uh, the Offerdale boys. What about yourself, Ben? Where are you from? Uh... From Gundy originally. Yeah, that wasn't a hard question. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Grew up in Gundy, played all my junior footy here, and then uh, over to Dolby for, uh, I think I was over there for about 17 years. Yeah. And, and then back over here for the last five with the Boars. And you're playing under 18, so yeah? Yeah, this <laughs> year. <laughs> hoping to crack the A grade next year. Okay, so we're going to have some buzzers here, okay? And the buzzers is uh, where we get these uh, young scallywags to sing out something, okay? Now for Mark. Right, Mark played for USA, and we want him to yell out, USA! Okay, so Mark, you're going to do that for us, mate? Okay, ready? Go. USA. Oh. Oh. How bad was that? Okay, let's try it again. Thanks, Mark. Ready? One, two, three. USA. Okay. Oh, 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 now for Michael, okay, 
This is the Gundawindi boar, so we want you to make a sound of a boar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ready, ready, Michael. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> you can do better than that. A bit louder, thanks, Michael. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's go. On. Is that what a boar sounds like? <laughs> now, Ben, because you have the last name Love All, that means you know you're a pretty good looking bloke. I want you to go out and you've got to say yo. Okay? So one, two, three. Yo. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty bad, man, okay? Go again. It one, two, three. This, yo. Yeah. Wasn't that fantastic? Well done uh, for these guys. Okay, three individual questions and then it'll be fastest finger first. Uh, or Farsa's yell first for the uh, prestigious prize of winning the Obi's quiz here at our Queensland Hotel. Now, over to you first, Mark. Okay, you played for United States uh, Hawks, making the last two World Cups in 2017 and 2013. Put your hands together for Mark. What a wonderful, <laughs> distinguished career. Your coach in 2017 was Brian McDermott. Who was your coach in 2013? Brent. No, no. Oh. <laughs> you, don't, you don't even know who it is anyway. Excuse me. Let me just explain, Michael, okay? Three individual questions ah. first, okay? It all makes sense now. So shut up, okay? Who was your coach in 2013? Uh, Terry, Terry Madison. That's right for five points. And our adjudicator is uh, Paul Reedy. Who's in the lead at the moment, mate? I think Mark's just in front of his brother. Okay, now for a further five points, uh, Mark, who is the current USA coach? Sean Rutchison. Well, very good, that's five points. So, uh, five points for you, Mark. Now, on to Ben Lovell, okay? Now, I believe you, you use Lynx Africa <laughs> de deodorant. Is, is that right? Occasionally. Yeah, that's right. And I, and I heard a rumour that you also use perfume before each game, is that right? <laughs> Always. There we go. Okay. Fag. Spell deodorant. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's a stitch up. <laughs> Just spell it. It's okay. easy. I don't, I don't okay. want to have a go at it either. Sound it, it out. Sound it out. Sound it out. It's not a stitch up. You Sound haven't heard out. the rest of the D. questions. Okay. Okay. Spell deodorant. D E O D R A N. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> it's D E O D O R oh, A N T. Bad luck, mate. You get <laughs> bong bong. D O D O R. Michael Offendorf. Yeah, see, you do it. Now, Michael, I believe you used to colour your eyebrows. Oh. Okay. <laughs> For five points, right? What colour uh, are they naturally? White. Right, that's right for five points. <laughs> or for the uneducated, they're blonde. That's what. And I can tell you, being blonde eyebrows explains a lot for Michael Offendale, I can tell you, okay? Now, for another five points, in a famous pre season interview, you made a prediction that you would be captain coach of A grade. What, what round did you predict this? For another five points. I'll watch this today. Uh, yeah. Six? Is that your final answer? Was it two? Six. No. What's your final answer? Go with six. 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 That's right. Yes. So <laughs> five points there. Well done uh, there. Okay. So fastest finger first. Let's try those buses again. Mark. USA. Michael. Ben. Yo. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> and the score at the moment. Uh, ten all between the Offendale boys and Ben slow. still turned his balloon to spell. Okay, let's go. Okay, okay. Ready? Question. Let's go. <laughs> Gunder when he played brothers on the weekend. What was the score at halftime? USA. Yes. Sixteen four. That's right. Five points. What is Ben Lovell's nickname? Rick. Yes. Oh. Potty calf. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is a stitch up. <laughs> no. What year did the Gundawindi boss join the TRO competition? Yes. You don't know it, don't you? 98. No. That's Brown. incorrect. Someone else? 96. That's right. Oh. Okay, and I would have also taken 2015 after they were out in 2013. Ooh. David Armstrong is Gundawindi's highest try scorer in the TRO with 15 tries. For, this is for Gundawindi, I'm... Uh, I'm saying yes, my, 
Malcolm Ma uh, McGrady is next with 11 tries. Who is third on eight tries? Yo. Yes. <laughs> Adam tried. Adam tried. That's wrong. You two? Yeah, Yo, USA. Um, <laughs> you Sandy, Sandy Ray. No. no. And? Uh, Rian? Yes. Kyle Munro? Uh, all wrong. You don't lose five points, but it was David McGrady. Oh, no. Oh, sorry, Dave. Okay, question number five. Can we, uh, I'll get the score in a moment. Thanks, Reeds. What junior club, apart from Gundawindi, did Ethan Lowe play for? Oh, Ethan Lowe, remember he played for State of Origin? Really? Yes. Yeah, I don't know where he played. Uh, it was Valleys. That's right. Five points. Yeah. 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 No, my football. Did he play for Gunner Windy, did he? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> so what was the, what was what were you questioning there, Mark? Uh, Mark? I didn't know where he played. It's question and that, the question. Yeah. Well that's why I asked him, I oh. don't ask questions that don't have an answer, you idiot. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. So what's the score there, uh, uh Paul? Well we got out on front now is Michael. On uh, 20 points, Mark on 15, and Benny's kicked off with five. Nice, well Benny. done. Okay. I'll make a comeback here in Question a minute. Question number six. What is a noon noon? You uh, Yes, Michael? Uh, it's Mark's blanket when he was younger, <laughs> but any kind of, like, collar-flicking action that he did. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> How can I get a look in on that? It's a pit so when Mark was a child, he used to flick collars and the edges of pillows when he was younger. So they called it a little noon noon, weren't they, Mark? <laughs> That's a shocker. Okay, question number seven. Multiple choices is one. What was the score in the first round when Gundawindi played Waddles? Was it A, 24-16? Was it B, 32-22? Was it C, 30 points to 18? Or USA. was it D? Yo. Yes. There's a C. C, which was? 30 to 18. That's right. Well done, five hey. points. Or was it D? Was Who cares? Which I give that right as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wouldn't say B there. Yeah, Multiple choice. B. Okay. What is the local weight loss group called? Is it A? This is multiple choice again. Gundy's Gut Busters. Is it B? Lovell's Lovable Losers. Or is it... <laughs> Or is it C, Weight Watchers? Yo, hey. Yo. Yes. Gundawindi Barbell Club. That's wrong. USA. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's B. B, which is love, uh, Lovell's Lovable Losers? Yes. No, that's incorrect. Oh. Oh. Michael? Yes. C. Which is? Uh, Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers. And I believe, could put your hands together, Ben, you got a life membership there this week. Well done. Yay. Hey. Hey. <laughs> okay, another question. Adam Tribe is Gundawindi's top point scorer with 76 points from two tries and 34 goals. Put your hands together for Adam. Where's Adam? That's him, Tribe. Well done. Okay. Who is reserve grade's leading point scorer? For Gundawindi. USA. Yes. Is it... Uh, what did I say? Okay. I'm going to... Brandon... No. No. Yeah, come on. No, 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 no. Pass. Pass, pass, pass. pass. Okay. Yo. Yes. When he was playing reserve grade, I reckon it'd be Ash Jarrett. And that's very, very close, but it's wrong. Okay. Michael. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> who's your kicker? No, you're going to pass, mate. Uh, who's your kicker? Carrot. Carrot Sampson. I'm not going to take that answer until you give your uh, ball. <laughs> Yep, and it is? Karen Sampson? That's wrong, okay. The reserve grade's leading point scorer is Adam Tribe. Oh, oh hey. yes, Adam! Killing us both guys. <laughs> With three tries and 20 goals. Now, next question. Myself and Paul Reedy are regulars on the TRL. That was a rumor question, sorry. Guys, can you please watch your language? Oh, yeah, okay. Sorry, sorry Mark. I'll get into all kinds of trouble for Facebook if uh, this goes up. Oh. So, uh, just watch your Sorry. Yeah, so Sorry. cut that shit out, okay? <laughs> 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 okay, myself and Paul Reedy are regulars on the TRL footy show, with myself and Terry Cook regulars on the OB and Cookie Call. Name two other regulars. Uh, Yo! Yes. 
No. <laughs> on the on the cook on the show. Either TRL footy show or the OB cookie call. Kerry Carmichael's always on there. Yeah, I'll give you that one. What's the best? Yeah, obviously, avid fans of the if OB. I, if I get the next one, do I get the points? No, no, no. And uh, the gentleman. <laughs> yeah, but you need a name, mate. Two, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got him down. Tross. No, not B Tross. B Tross. Is it Beatross? No, it's not. Over to you. <laughs> Nat Cherry. That's him, Nat Cherry. Yes. Yeah, okay, I'll give you five points each. Is that okay? Or do yeah, that. that's perfect. Okay, second last question. Okay, now concentrate here, guys. If fifth place, a gun to Windy, lose to Waddles this weekend, and Gatton beat Valleys, what position will gun to Windy finish on the 2019. Yo. Yes. Equal fifth. That's right. Well done. Okay. Just math, now, this might be a little bit difficult, but we'll see how we go. So who am I? But before we go, last question. So we've got uh, Michael out on 35 points, Mark on 25, and Ben's uh, got 10. Yeah. Oh. Michael, right. Michael with a scarf, I believe. Okay. <laughs> now you can answer this one, okay? But uh, we'll make this for 15, so we've got oh. a fair winner, okay? We'll go from there. Who am I? I was born in Gundawindi on the 9th of November 1981. I debuted in the NRL. USA. Yes? Um, Lowe. Ethan Lowe. Yeah, right. 81. Well, oh, 81. Me. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm done. All for you, Michael. Yeah. Thank you, buzzer up, mate. Oh, Ben, you can, you yes. can, um, you've got to play here, mate, because Mark's in front. Is that right? No. Oh, well, he can say nothing, so we'll go for it. Okay, you can get second. Uh, keep ten? going, we need some more. Okay, well, if you're not first, you're last. Five points, Ben, so <laughs> here we go. You're okay. gone. All right, so I debuted in the NRL in 2003 at the tender age of 21. I was NRL's top point scorer in 2008. I scored over 1,000 points in my career. I played for West Tigers. Yo! Yep. You're McGrady. No. Wrong. <laughs> this wasn't born in 81. Yes, you say 71 or 81. 81, you idiot. Sorry, okay. I thought you said 71. Continue, uh, Obi. I'm okay. still available here. Over <laughs> thousand, what I played for West Tigers and Cronulla. I was a winger three-quarter. I made my test debut for New Zealand in 2007. We got injured in that game. I went back to Mwollomba. Yeah. Okay, my first... I'm out. My, yes? Oh, no. My first name <laughs> is Luke. And I'm a ah, yes. <laughs> yes. Luke Cavill. That's correct. Put your hands together to Michael Offender, <laughs> who's the winner of Hobie's uh, Quiz. Now, on behalf of the uh, Power TV and uh, uh, the OB and Cookie Call and Paul Reedy, we'd like to thank you very, very much for having us. I hope, did everyone have good fun tonight? Yeah. Okay. And look, I uh, thank our contestants here. Put your hands together for those guys. Yeah. Michael gets a Men of League uh, scarf, and all of them get an OB and Cookie Call hat, which I forgot, and I'm going to give it to them on Saturday. Go to the balls on Saturday. What's everyone reckon? Yeah. Yeah. This is the Toowoomba Rugby League footy show. See you next week. Well, that wraps up another edition of the TRL Footy Show. Thanks to Power FM, Hutchison Builders, Computer Troubleshooters, Toowoomba West and the Gundawindi Rugby League Football Club. If you'd like to advertise on Power TV or Power FM, you contact us by phone or email. The details are on the screen. This has been a Power TV Australia production in conjunction with Power FM. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram and also remember to download the Power TV Australia app from the Apple and Google Play stores. I'm Robbo, thanks for your company, we'll catch you again next week.